What is going on guys and welcome back to another video on this channel. Today we've got a big one for you. We've got our first ever player review. We've got the, none other than the man himself, which is Latan Ibrahimovic scream card. He looks absolutely incredible. It reminds me a bit like his flashback last year, which unfortunately I didn't actually do the SPC. Hopefully some of you guys were lucky enough to do that last year. But his card looks absolutely unbelievable. And if we jump straight into him, we can see we picked him up for around 300,000 coins, which is a really, really good price for his card at the moment. I feel like that's going to be one of the lowest that like, he's going to hit for his card, um, 300k is a, is a bit of a steal in my opinion. I've used him for a few games already, as you can see. Four games um, and three goals, which isn't too bad. I thought he'd get more assists than he would goals, to be honest. I thought he'd be my playmaker since I only play him up front of his own with um, a cam and a left cam and a right cam. But nonetheless, we are gonna jump into a game today and show you guys exactly how he feels in game, how um, my feedback of him is for a rivals game. I think we're in division three, I believe. So there'll be some pretty decent players. It won't be the easiest of games, but it should show you guys whether he is worth the 300k and whether you should go out and buy him. But first off, I do wanna say it was with Zlatan Ibrahimovic, you are gonna find him very, very hard to link. As you can see on my team, I went for the Alessandrini link. The other players are just in there for a bit of fun. Try about Greenish. He's in the team of the week at the moment. It's 10k. You can't really argue with that. I know he's not going to be the best, but it's something different. Also, we've got um, Madison in there, as you can see. I'm looking forward to trying him. I've heard very, very good things with Madison. And I picked him up for around 17k or something like that. 16k is an absolute steal, especially when there's a centre mid already as well. He looks very, very good this year. But we are... Um, not really talking about these sort of cards, as you can see. You can see for yourself the sort of player that we are running. But it's all about the man himself, Zlatan Ibrahimovic. So hopefully we can do some work with him today. Let's jump straight into the um, video and see what we can do. We'll go and have a look at his in-game stats as well, which I almost forgot to do. As you can see here, 86 acceleration, 83 sprint speed, which is a massive, massive upgrade this year. And with the Hunter card, you get plus eight on both, which is incredible. His um, other attributes like finishing are really good. His shot power, his long shots, as expected from Zlatan, like, is what he does, volleys and all that good stuff. The only downfall to this card, as you could probably see already, is in bright orange. It's his jumping, which doesn't matter too much to me. Obviously, I like him to win the header from um, goal kits, which you will probably see in the video that he does actually do, which is really, really good. A cross and on a thing this year. But the big one is stamina. Stamina, stamina, stamina. Basically, with stamina, it's not great. 60 stamina, you're not really going to last the whole game with him. So I would recommend, if you do have this card, to possibly just have him on the bench, bring him on at halftime, stuff like that. But obviously, we'll go we'll go from this game, 99 minutes, so you will see how much energy he has after the game. We'll, we'll have a look at about 80 minutes and see, see how far he gets, really. But other than that, his stats are really, really good. His ball control is really good. Reactions, dribbling, his composure is unbelievable. So it, all round, it's really not that bad. We do need to chuck a manager in this team as we have just built this squad. I'm not, we're not really too bothered, you know what I mean? We just want to get in some gameplay as you do as well, I'm sure. And if you are new around here, please do hit that subscribe button. I know I say in every single video, we have just passed 100 subscribers and it feels so good, so good. So I can't thank you guys enough for that. And if you do want to see more player reviews, please, please, please let me know down in the comment section down below who you would like to see in the next player review. I've had a lot of votes down on Twitter, which is in the description that everyone was Rio Ferdinand, which I'm not surprised because he is in the... Uh, um, foot swaps as well so I know a lot of people are going to be looking to get him but this guy's actually got the Scream um, Carvalho I believe that is about 50-60k at the moment he's not the best of cards honestly I've used him in draft a couple of times and he wasn't too great but other than that his team doesn't look too threatening he's got Ozil in there I'm sure he's going to be looking to get the um, Scream Ozil as well for um, objectives which is actually free at the moment so I'm sure that a lot of you guys are going to be grinding him as well because I think I will he'll probably go into an SPC in the end or be a sub but I can't see him doing too much as of, like, as of yet really his, his pace looks a bit low and it just doesn't really suit my play style in a way. We're going to jump into the free. Actually, we'll stay in this formation. I normally jump into the 3 5 2 in my own custom tactics. If you haven't seen the video, you can go and check it out for yourselves. Um, it's the first video I actually put up, which had some insane feedback, and I'm very, very grateful for all you guys that, that do send the feedback and hit the like button and all that stuff because it does really, really help me out. But let's see if we can try and break this guy down a little bit. Madison already getting in. Ebra just making them positions already. It's oh, unlucky for me, bro. I feel like with Ebro, you've got to try and you just got to hold LT and trying to hold the ball up rather than trying to get round them defenders. Because a lot of people this year are just playing drop back and that sort of stuff. Madison feels really, really good on the ball. As I say, they just loses the ball, which isn't the best. It's a great ball over the top to Sane. Also, I would like to know from you guys. I know I'm asking a lot, but even if you DM me on Twitter or you just drop it in the comments, would you guys prefer if I? clip down four games would you require a full-on commentary over one game because obviously with one game you can't really tell if the player is good or not that's what i sort of went through and done four foot champs games of him as you saw and just to get just so i know a little bit more about the card rather than telling you guys oh this card's amazing after one game i'll go and play a different player and he's it's completely different because he gets like marked out of the game or something like that um i, I would really be interested to know what you guys would prefer i i honestly prefer doing full-on commentaries but on greenish 
I, keep, I need to stop that burbers being. Yeah, I, I prefer full on uh, commentaries because I really enjoy commentating over gameplay, and I think I do that better than I would if I was just like chopping up loads of clips. You know what I mean? But it's, it's all it's all down to your guys' preference because I really, really don't mind. Madison just feels so good on the board. Playing the four three three as well, something that I haven't actually played before. Oh, I could save. Should have done better there with Madison. I'm not sure what his weak foot is as well. But it's probably like three star. See if we can get Ebra in here as well. Where is she's Ebra? Oh, is Ebra taking the corner? She don't know where he is. Where is Ebra? He's there, front post. He must have been in the corner. Let's see if Alonso can swing it into him front post. Headers this year are so bad, aren't they? It's, it's really not worth him swinging across in. It's a good touch, Ken. So I love that. Ebra, that's the thing about Ebra. I found that with the four games that I've played with Ebra, sorry, very, very clinical if you can get the shot away. But that's, that is the hard part. Oh my God, what happened there? That's the hard part with Ebra. He really likes to, when you play that ball into his feet, he likes to take a bit of a heavy touch. And if you're through on goal, he will take that extra touch, which I haven't liked about him. But late on, I found in Foot Champions, I brought him on twice, quite late. I think I brought him on like 60, 70 minutes ish. And he ends up like really coming through and being in the position for the sweats and stuff like that. And he, he does do well at that point. But it's just when you're trying to get the ball into his feet at this stage, like Madison's running the show at the moment, picking up some really nice positions. It's such a steal for 17K. I've had such good things on him. I've seen um, a few player reviews on him as well. He looks really, really good. Greenish man. Come on, Greenish. You're going to be the goat with this team. I can see it already. This guy's playing quite slow. He's not really got any urgency about him, has he? I suppose most people don't now. It's just all about taking the time, picking the right passes. Playing at that slow play, uh, play style, drop back at one depth. I can't bring myself to do that quite yet. I don't think I ever will, but it's not my play style personally. Currently foot champions as well. Um, we're actually 7-1, and one, which isn't too bad at all. It's probably my best start to champs. Uh, we finished 20... 20 and 8, 20 and 8, and 21 and 8 this year so far, the three champs that we've played. So I'm hoping for a little bit of an improvement. If we can hit Elite this week and I can give you some rewards, that'd be absolutely perfect. That's exactly what I'm looking for. We'll probably get a like, shocking um, team of the week, but what can you do? It's definitely worth getting. It's more enjoyable to see that team of the week pack opened. I can't even make them position still. Well done. Just keep holding that ball. That's what he struggles at. Just getting that turn off. I've just forced that to him. Jack Greenish, man. <laughs> what a bargain at 10k. If you're a Villa fan, then I'm sure you'd you'd probably go ahead and try Greenish. It is a bit of a laugh. I'm not sure what that guy's doing. He just got baited a little bit by Neuer. Greenish. I'm struggling with Greenish. Maybe we take Greenish off and um, bring on Neymar, but it's, I don't know if that's going to be a much enjoyment. We'll see how we go on. We need to try and get the win, so it will create more chance for Ibra as well. We've got Neymar on the pitch. I'm sure Guardiola again and again. It's good at that sort of stuff. You just feel he's a little bit hard to turn. It's the only thing I hate about Guardiola. Everything else I think is pretty decent. But I definitely recommend you guys go and Delaney, as I mentioned on Twitter. The um, Dortmund uh, cent central midfielder is really, really good. He's in form card. I think you pick him up for around 60, 70k now, which is insane for how good his card plays. We've got Trey Ore over the top. Go on, Latan. It's a weak pass, really, isn't it? It's really, really bad. What well on, Madison. We can find that ball just in behind. Good play. I actually try and, uh, I tried Scream Pyatt as well today. I played five games, he didn't get any assists, any um, any goals, but what I did find about him, he picked up some really nice positions, like Madison's doing right now, but he just could not create anything, and every time he got on the board, if I held it for more than two like seconds, he'd lose it, because the guy would come and catch him, and he couldn't get it out of his feet quick enough, it's the worst. Greenish, gonna silence us, oh what a save Laurie, he should have finished that to be honest, that's a really dry first game. Um, for a first half, should I say? As as of always, everyone's dropped back, and it's just really difficult to break down. Maybe we go three five two. We'll go three five two at the start of this half, and um, we'll see if we can get a few goals or something like that. Because this really isn't working playing the four two three on. We're both quite sat back. I haven't really got many options going forward, and that way it'll force him out on the counter attack and stuff like that. Crazy score line. And I'm going to concede now. What a save, Neuer. Neuer is really really good this year. I've heard a lot of talk about Destergen, but I haven't heard a lot about Neuer, and he's been really really solid for me. So, so good. This guy seems to come out half-time a lot better than me, a lot quicker. Good ball trier. He looks like he's going to make some changes now as well. See if we can get one before. Zlatan gets in front. Oh, Zlatan, he's a little bit clunky. It's just, it's so, so difficult. Even if I played four or five games with him, I don't think you guys would get the the gameplay that you would you would like with him. He's good when it's delayed because he's clunky. Like I say, he's good at holding the ball up and all that. But I find him really, really difficult to get in behind with. And obviously, that's not what he's built for. But I find him really difficult to to use in a way, if you know what I mean. He's good at like hold ups or stuff like that. But I feel like if you are going to get this Latan Ibrahimovic card, I definitely say he's worth a try. Like, I'm not going to knock him off. His, fit, um, his stamina, sorry, isn't the best. I got hit that earlier. His stamina isn't the best, but other than that, he's, he seems pretty decent. 
I think you've got to pair him with another striker, in my opinion. If you can pair him with a, a like a two up front, I think you'll play a lot better. Greenish is just score. Let's go, Greenish. He's actually been really good for me. But 10k, if you guys need a little a cheap player, then he could be worth a try. He doesn't seem too, too bad at all. But yeah, like I said, it's Latan. He's just... He needs another striker with my field to hold that ball up, to play that tiki taka and to get that pass across the goal sort of situation because I can't really find that space with him up front of his own because he's always got his back to goal whereas you need him obviously looking towards the goal from the edge of the box sort of area and scoring them um, low drivens and finesse shots and stuff like that. Oh, come on, you've got me that tackle. Here we go, Werner and Sane. This is not going to end well. Good tackle. Brilliant. Who was... Oh my God. <laughs> He thought he'd dive over the player at the same time. Fair play as you do. Go on, Greenish. I'm really enjoying Greenish. <laughs> Who needs a player of you on Zlatan when well, you got Greenish? Oh, my God. This could be me, guys. Like I say, everyone has their own... I've always said to everyone, I played with Luis Suarez not too long ago to do the objectives and I just didn't get on with him because I can't use... I'm not the best player to use clunky players. If you give me someone like... Um, I don't know, small, a small agile player, I'll be able to use them a lot better. That's a really nice goal. I'll be able to use them a lot better, like Ben Yedder, for instance. I can use him a lot better. I understand that he's a very, very good guy. There's probably not many people that can't use him out there. But, but yeah, like I, I just can't use clunky players. For some reason, it doesn't fit my players' arm. Someone that likes to try and dribble through the whole team and then put it in rather than sit on the edge of the box. But maybe we should... Do you know what? I'm going to try the 3-5-2. We're going to go into a different formation. We won't put too much custom. We'll see what he's like with two up front for the last 20 minutes of this game. Green should have to sit in at the camp. I'm sure he'll be alright in there. Actually, with Madison. Um, but you will sit Madison sent me. We'll go for a little bit more attacking. Madison, that is shocking. That's my fault, though. Like that, you can't blame the player for that. That's me. I'm trying to get away and blame my players. What well on, Marcus Alonso? That's shocking from me again. I didn't even look. Come on, man. I'm sleeping. He's played eight foot champs games. Probably why I'm, I'm now sleeping. I don't think I'm going to be able to get any more in tonight. That's a great run. I can't tackle him there. And Andy's well played. Come on, let's see if we can make this change and maybe get um, a little bit more joy. Where is he? 352. Where are you? Right, there we go. We're going to do the 352. Madison and Cam. Alison Drini is striker. Maybe we'll bring on a striker. That's what we'll probably do. Maybe Neymar ST. No. We'll go Ben Yedder ST. Uh, Madison then. Greenish on the left. Greenish should be alright on the left, I suppose. Actually, we'll get out. I'll tell you what. We'll get out Guardiola. I know it seems a bit silly. Um, but that way we can play a bit more attacking football. Madison was sort of doing that player review on as well. But maybe Neymar out wide, I guess. Yeah, we'll go Neymar out wide. How about that? A little bit more attack, and hopefully that helps um, Zlatan get free a bit more and be able to get him in behind. Hopefully get the win in this game, because I don't really want to be drawing. I draw way too many games with rivals. That's what I like about foot champion. There's always a winner. Please don't let me concede a cross. Who was that? Marcus Alonso. Well done. Ben Yedder is so good this year. If you guys want to see a player review on someone like Ben Yedder, let me know. But I'm pretty sure he's probably been done a million times because he's that good. Oh, that's poor for me again. He just his left hand's hiding for me. I don't know what it is. Maybe I need to put his custom tactics or something a little bit different. He seemed to just hide a lot. I've really struggled with him to be fair. Like I, I my final review on this card. I'm not gonna say it yet because we aren't at the end of the video. But oh, lucky greenish. And he might do something spectacular, but I've really, I just, I just feel he hasn't got that ball control really, and he can't keep hold of that ball. He's very, very good when it's clunky games like this. Is quite. Um, a different game to what you get in foot champions if you're on them lower playing them lower teams like this and you should be all right but he just feels really really clunky maybe i'm just not using him correctly like i say i don't really use i don't really use clunky players too much i'm probably not the best person to review someone like zlatan ibrahimovic i'm sure um you guys might be able to have a bit more joy and you're probably better fifa players than i am as well i'm not the best of fifa players but ben yet is my sort of play style really really nippy and his Latan again, he just gets dispossessed. It seems so, so easy. I enjoyed him the first two games. It's always the same that you get a new player, you really enjoy him. Then I feel, I feel like um, maybe I'm trying to use him too much or something like that. I'm not sure. I've, I've, I've been trying not to do that because when you do that, obviously you make the player worse. Like a lot of people do when they have Ronaldo and stuff like that. But he's got five minutes left yet. No, I say it's not over yet. He's got five minutes left and there he goes again, losing the ball. It's, it's been a bit of a story of this game. It's not been the best of gameplay, but... It sort of does show you guys what you are going to see, do you know what I mean? Um, I'm not going to shower you and play Division 10, smash someone 6-1, and then just say, that's lovely. 
Well done, that's lovely. And then say, oh, he's, he's amazing because he's not the best of players on this game. I'm going to tell you that now. And you could get a lot better options if you're looking for that target, man. Someone that is big, obviously Zlatan is your guy for 300k. But in my opinion, I would go for someone that is going to link a lot, lot better for the likes of Ben Yedda. Ben Yedda this year is unbelievable if you can get your hands on the 85 in form. Even if you just try the normal card first. And then that, I actually had a lot of joy with his normal card. Um, he was really, really good, and I ended up upgrading to his one watch just before he got the 85. So I got lucky there, made about 150k on him in total, so that was unbelievable profit. But, like I say, that, that, is, that is probably my final opinion on Zlatan. He does get the goal there, which he did he did sort of deserve. Good save, Noy, I tell you, Noy is unbelievable. He did sort of deserve. Neymar sort of created that. Like I said, having someone like Neymar around him will help you a lot. Whereas if you've got them players... Oh, that's a, that's a good tackle. What's Werner doing then? There we have it though. There is our first ever player review on Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Um, I really enjoyed this video. So if you guys did, please, please, please do hit that subscribe button um, up above and the like button down below. If you did make it this far, I'd appreciate that a lot. And if you guys want to see more of these videos, make sure you let me know down in the comment section down below. I hope you took that all in, guys. I hope it was a lot of help for you. Um, my next one will probably be uh, Rio Ferdinand if I can get enough coins for that. If I can't, I'll do I'll drop a different icon swap at the time so it can help you guys to know who to choose for your final icon swap. So I think we've got about a month till the next drop. So we've got a little while for yet for you guys to be saving your tokens. But that is going to be all for this video. Take care and enjoy the rest of your nights.